I read something around. Is it, is it 18 hours? Where is that the 18 hour? Can you explain that to me? So I'm going to let uh, Ms. Weinstock address that. Excuse me. 93% is our placement of dogs and cats. Uh, we take over 20,000 dogs and cats in every year. With respect to that 7%, those are the animals that were euthanized. In 2017, that was less than 2,000 animals, correct? Right, outside of owner requested euthanasia, which is a service that veterinarians provide, and we also provide it as a low cost service to the public. With respect to those 7% um, animals that have a health issue or a behavior issue are at risk of euthanasia. Um, keeping that um, an animal that has a contagious illness or a behavior challenge is not safe for uh, operating a full service shelter. with so many animals. We, again, to remind you, we have 75 animals coming in every day. The 18 hours is any, an additional amount of time that we give to any animal that we consider at risk of euthanasia. We publish a list of those animals for the public and for our partners to see this is another chance for them to be placed. It is in addition to all of the efforts that our team has made to publicize the animals when they first come into the shelter. So many of them could have been in the shelter for 72 hours um, because they're stray and we're waiting to see if there is an owner. Uh, if their behavior changes or their, their, um, their medical issues change, they may become at risk. And so we post this list at night. Um, it gives the public and the New Hope Partners an additional 18 hours to look for the anim uh, to look at these animals and decide if they want to place them. Um, the other thing is, uh, let me mention that um, with respect to euthanasia, another question close to this 18-hour rule. It's not. An, it's not a rule. Again, it's 18 more hours to try and get these animals out. People who say it's only 18 hours may just be getting onto the site to look at animals that are at risk. They're not, not looking at them when they first come into the organization when they are available or could be available for adoption or for placement. Uh, there is no time limit. If an animal comes in and their health and their temperament are fine, we're going to keep that animal. Our goal is to place as many animals as possible. We want the best outcome for the most animals. We agree. Let's try and place more animals. There is no time limit. We have animals. In fact, we have a dog who just left the Brooklyn shelter who has been there for months. Months. There is no time limit. If they remain healthy and their behavior is, um, is safe, they will stay with us until we can make an appropriate placement. And in the interim, we're doing all kinds of programs to keep them healthy and to keep them active and um, reduce stress and all of that. But unfortunately, there are those 7% that had either an illness or a behavior issue that made them at risk. I, I read something around, is it, is it 18 hours where 